so there is a little bit of a confusion that's going on out there and um uh, one pastor actually sent me this uh, this entire story. I did see a couple of people posting it around uh, him wearing uh, this uh, this gown right here, and I thought, oh, okay, some ordinations taking place. So, okay, fine. And I just uh, brushed it aside. I didn't think too much of it. And I did some see some other people who were against uh, the the attire, saying it's Catholic and everything. But then. A pastor called me a day after, which was yesterday, and said, uh, Ricky, uh, did you see the story? Da -da 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 -da. He was also in that particular route. But, um, and so towards the ending of our conversation, then he mentioned why <laughs> this was a big deal. And he mentioned, uh, Pastor Radha was against this thing. Now, I don't know if he's pastor, prophet, or what, but I do know that a lot of people tend to call him reverend. Now, I've already explained my position about that. Um, I don't see that word in the fivefold, so I cannot call a man that. You're either pastor, bishop, or something. That particular word, reverend, I can't call a man that. Uh, but anyways, and so if you, you guys have that title, understand from my branch of where I come from theologically, I cannot call a man that. It's only God that is reverent. Now, it is here is that uh, it's not the outfit uh, being uh, either from a Roman aspect or whatnot, uh, them starting to wear mitres and all this kind of stuff. Mitre is, uh, is, the, is the hat that is worn by the Pope. Uh, and that particular thing, it is actually a Babylonian thing. It is known as the fish god hat. A lot of bishops... A lot of people wear this kind of hats, and so uh, we might differ. If you wear it, personally, I'm not offended by it because I don't know why you're wearing it. <laughs> but for me, I do know that it does have those roots. So, uh, what my advice would be: don't ignore what people say about it. Uh, just hear where they come from with it, and so the hat and all that. Kind of. So I thought that was the direction he was going about the subject. He said, "No, uh, the issue here is that uh, Pastor Rale Cholela actually used to be against these things." So I was like, oh, "Okay, leadership." <laughs> That changes the story now, if he was against it and now he's wearing it. And so I said, do you know of the particular place where he actually said it? So he sent me a video where uh, Pastor Rolela is spotted saying something within this lines. And so I might insert it right here and then you guys be uh, the ones that hear what he had to say. The things that we were preaching outside in the crusades. We've got to preach it in the church today. Same, same things that we were doing 30 years back when we were burning the, the, the holy clothes of people. Christians are taking them back into the church. And so those were the words of Pastor Alokulela. And this is a pastor that used to, you know, hold, hold, hold him in high regards. They still hold him in high, high regards. But they are confused by what this means. Why has he just suddenly switched and now is wearing them? Now, now bear in mind, this is not me who is saying that. These are pastors that follow him. These are pastors that believe in his work in the ministry you no know, I, I know we don't like using the term as you know the fathers of the faith of south africa it's like the people that have been uh, in ministry to a point where they were well known for ministry work pastor Al would fit that okay and so i don't like using the term father of the faith i don't know what it means <laughs> but i guess if you are meaning uh, a person who's been within the ministry for so long i will understand so something we have to debate over you know sometimes people just want to debate over things i come from a different strain of theology and other people also so understand debatable things and things not to debate about now this this might not look like a big deal to someone else that he actually said that statement uh, which actually sounds these are people that follow him that sent me this the people that person doesn't me is a person who, who who believed in the work of his ministry now it gets worse <laughs> if you thought it is done it's not done it's not done a few days after 
I don't know how many days after, I didn't inquire. I just wanted to understand the story. <laughs> the few days after this entire ordination thing happens a few days after he starts changing on these things where he was saying very clearly that he doesn't uh, these type of things of people having holy cloths and stuff like that they would bend them at their church a few days after his church tent blew thousands of rains on a tent wrecked and torn uh, threw up Here's a picture. And so, a lot of people, <laughs> now they're now a lot more concerned. A lot more concerned because it's like, you said this, then now you're doing it. And now, all of a sudden, there's now this that happens. That might be the fact that, you know, you just caught bad weather. But people are linking. <laughs> people are linking that he is a thing. Now, other people, there was also an, a mention that the son of Pastor Al Hulela was also one, one of the people that I ordained. I don't know if he's the one on the picture there. And they were saying he seems to be more interested in linking with all these big pastors with big names and whatnot and all this kind of stuff. And the people most likely linked with the zondos and all that kind of stuff and so i found that direction of the story very very uh, interesting so i want it is what it is from what from the way the story is being stated is that he said this and then this is what happens and thing now on this aspect of the holy cloth let's talk about that for a second i am a person with a prayer uh, with a prayer i have a prayer cloth right this is called a talit um it, you do see it in the Old Testament. As a matter of fact, when Jesus is walking through the street and a woman who had the issue of blood um, held the hem of, her, of, of his garment. Uh, your English Bible just says the hem of, your, of his garment. But uh, if you look at it, even the Bible that I spoke about, the review Bible that I did, uh, it actually talks about Tzitziot. It's this thing here. This thing. This is the hem. It is commanded in the Bible that they should have it as a remembrance. Not to say that the cloth is holy. No. It was a sign of how religious thing. And so a cloth, if a church has clothing and they see it as a point of, uh, of being religious, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, if I, if I wore a religious hat, I have no problem with that. It's just that. But when you start to say that clothes are holy, you start to create problems. If you check the other video, there's another video where another lady, funny enough, these videos come out exactly at the same time. There's another video of a lady who has, they built some kind of a crawl or something like that. They're saying that it is holy, the room is holy. And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? That, that, that falls within the, the, the space of occult. When you start to make certain things holy, physical things, when the Bible labels things holy, uh, there is a particular reason to what it, it's tamping that to, that it's putting that particular thing to. When the, it wasn't when you wore the cloth that you were holy. The issue came when you came wearing the cloth and you entered into the, to the temple and you carried something that was not supposed to be. That's where you started to have problems. These things have meaning and we have to translate them properly. And so... Uh, I don't know what exactly the, the implication was when he said that uh, they burn these things when they come to the thing. So if you know, you can tell me down in the comment section. It's the Rich Reality Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Uh, I just wanted to post this out. We want to stick to doctrine and be very, very straightforward. When you change, uh, do make sure that you alert people why you are changing. I'll see you in a later on. Check out the other videos that are down in the pink comments. There's another video about this crawl thing and whatnot. So check the pink comments. You'll find that down there. It's Ricky. Salute.